I've come across an article that I literally cannot read by myself. I'm having to call someone that I haven't talked to in a very long time just to be able to get through this article. Please bear with me. Um, I am joined today by one of the people that I know of, uh, a demon of cyberspace, uh, Antoine the Great. Look, I cannot believe you called me because you downloaded something weird from the dark web. Listen, I've told you before, you have to cover yourself up. See, see, I think part of this is, it's not that I downloaded something weird from the dark web, it's something that's creeping out of the dark web. I want I want to say I didn't know her name, but this has nothing to do with me. Never mind. Never mind. Well, I know you haven't seen what I have up on my screen right now. Um what do you what do you, wh how how familiar are you with Dungeons and Dragons? God, that's that weird game that Matt and his friends play, isn't it? I would say I'm pretty familiar. They talk about it all the goddamn time. What about the autonomy of some of these uh creatures that are involved what do you mean what anatomy yeah the an like, anatomy the anatomy I, I my canadian accent's getting the best of me <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to know about creatures anatomy okay well i have a game I, I have a pc gamer article that has been shown my way a live streamed dungeons and dragons one shot will take place inside the vagina of the game's biggest monster, and it's for a good cause, science and education. I'm sorry. What? I swear I've read a story like this. A haunted vagina. I think you were in the chat. <laughs> I probably did was. Did you do this? No. Nope. You did this. This was your idea. <laughs> Venture forth, clinical hit, and slay the bad dragon. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh the puns. Oh no. Why <laughs> would you do this to me? I, 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 you know, this is something that came across my desk. I couldn't help but to call the a demon that I know out there in the web because this feels like something that should be cast back into the web. Yes, yes it should. And locked away deep, deep in the dark web, never to be seen again. From everything I'm understanding here, they are exploring the vagina of a Tarkesque. A Tarask? Tarask. It's, um, listen, <laughs> I don't want to do this, but I may have to tap out. Like, it, what? <laughs> I did not misspell critical in that sub uh, sub headline. The D&D streaming show Science and Sorcery has teamed up with the UK's Vagina Museum to host a money-raising one-shot titled Clitical Hit. Of course. Of course. The the idiots over the pond would have a vagina museum, mainly because none of them have actually seen a real good one. <laughs> It's to help promote the museum's mission statement of raising awareness regarding gynecology, autonomy, and health. D&D is taking a strange turn, and this was one that I just, I, I, I could barely read this myself, and I was like, I, I gotta have someone else. L listen, I know D&D players do weird things, alright? I've heard the stories. I, I've heard them. I've heard Matt and Ishtar and, and his friends talking about it. It's, it. it's... It's something else, that's for sure. Something I've never heard of anything it. this crazy before. I've seen, I've played d i I've done some crazy things, but never to this point where it's for education, but... You would think they would explore the entire beast instead of just one section of the beast. It's for the Vagina Museum, so... Yay? Yeah, but... I'm reminded... Have you ever seen the movie Patch Adams? A long time ago. A long time ago. I am reminded of how he set up the Gynecological Convention Center. <laughs> Welcome, cold-handed one. It's an honor to greet Bash. welcome so many who have touched so many women in such a powerful way. Come on in. Watch out. A little slippery. And if you think it's hot out there. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
It was just two giant paper mache legs that were spread and the door was supposed to be the hoo-ha. And um, this sounds so much worse. Right? Right? Because it's, it's not a human's vagina. They're going into a monster's. A, a made-up monster vagina. of a fantasy realm to... I don't know why. Encounter's going to be slimes? Slimes? Polyp? They're gonna come across... They're gonna come in contact with gelatinous cubes, aren't they? Oh, they've gotta have something in there. They, they're going to have something very different. So this was originally reported by Wargamer. The stream will feature a neuroscientist and a pharmacologist alongside the museum's founder, Florence... Shet Sheetmer and the game's usual cast. Apparently, this is a monthly it's thing they do. This isn't Critical Role. This isn't Matt Mercer. This is Critical Hit. Now, apparently, the story revolves around a band called Critical Hit who discover the masses have been stolen by an evil dragon, and the band has joined forces with the greatest fans and infiltrate the Dragon's Lair, which is located inside the reproductive system of the well-preserved rats. Wait, 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 wait. The Dragon's Lair? Yeah, an evil is Dragon's Lair. inside the trap. Yeah, the, the vast, large, dragon's lair that's inside ter the Tarrasque. I hope it's a red dragon because they at least like humidity. <laughs> uh, in case you have no idea what a Tarrasque is, allow me to enlighten you. A Tarrasque is a Dungeons and Dragons biggest, baddest monster. Here's a fun quote, quote from the game's monster manual. Just a scaly biped, the Tarrasque is 50 feet tall with 70 feet long, weighing hundreds of tons. It carries itself like a bird of prey, leaning forward and using its powerful lashing tail for balance. Its carnivorous maw yawns wide open to swallow all but the largest creatures, and so great its hunger that it can devour populations of whole towns. Yeah. So it's a giant dinosaur. Yeah, it's a giant dinosaur. It used to, I, I remember playing D&D. It was like the one big baddie you never wanted to go up against because it literally would just eat you. It, it, it's a mindless creature that just destroys everything in its wake. But the fact that they're now exploring the reproductive system to enter a dragon's lair in this thing is... Um... That's on a next level fantasy reality mix that I've never thought would ever take the jump for Dungeons and Dragons. A lot of weird things coming out of D&D. Just a little. A lot. Just a little. This is a new one. <laughs> Just, it really is a new one. Um, so it's based off the Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition monsters manual which i'm no no surprise there because that's how, where most of the weird stuff has been coming from um this is probably and this is both probably for the best and also the great excuse for the minds at science and sorcery to cook up the most fiendishly educational layer you could ever imagine this is going to be a live stream event on february 2nd on twitch at least it's not valentine's day no, that's, that's, uh, I guess the good part of it all. Although talking about Valentine's Day, I think what I love about this, aside from it being a good cause, is how it unrepentantly D&D it is. This isn't D&D. D&D was never this. Sword and Sorcery, Dungeons and Dragons, was never exploring the reproductive system of a Tarkas. Technically, yes, but this is a player-based game, correct? Uh, and we all know, we all know that nerds are eternally horny. Yep. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't think that. they've ever explored the the, 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 the vast ca a cavernous opening of a giant fifty-foot dinosaur, but. I do know there is the blue book of D&D rule. The, do you know what the blue book is? The blue book of D&D rules? Yes. The blue book of D&D is, well, it's the rules on how sex works in D&D. <laughs> what? Down to rules. And 
diseases and pregnancy and how you get a half watt and a half watt. It's a legitimate thing. I'm guessing fan made. It was, but it is considered actual canon. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy, oh oh, lovely. That's that's where Dungeons so and Dragons been, has gone now, has it? This has been, it's been around for a while. Uh, I believe the big blue book of diseases or whatever it's called came about around the end of advanced D&D and the beginning of 3.0. Um, because, as I said, nerds are eternally horny. Um, to be fair, the going joke is that Bards are the reason that we have, you know, the numerous half races out there. So, it, it, one of the biggest memes, of course, is seducing. Oh God, are they going to seduce the Tarask? Oh no! Is they're, it just they're uh, going just to seduce giant... the reproductive organs of the Tarask? Oh my God! But yeah, so kinky fun time in D and D has been around for a while. This is just something extreme. Yep, and it's going to be live on Twitch this weekend. So go check out their channel and I guess have fun. Check out the Vagina Museum from the UK. Um, they're taking donations apparently. This is a new one on me and I, like I said, it was uh, a situation where I was like, I can't cover this alone. So, so Antoine, uh, okay. thank you <laughs> for letting me torture you with this. So a quick question about this Vagina Museum. Do they put on live demonstrations? Because <laughs> if they do, I may have to... I need to know the price of a flight from the Pacific Northwest to England. I, I need to know for a friend. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it won't be a long visit this friend is talking about, but just well, enough to go Well, to what's the most you're going to last at, a, at the Vagina Museum? Really? You get in, you get out, and and you're all done. No, well, unfortunately, I mean, you have to go in and then out, and then in, and then then out, and then I mean, you have to keep going back and forth, and then until you get sick. So, I mean, <laughs> listen, you called me in for this. I'm going to make this as ridiculously uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> and that's why you're here, uh, Antoine. Tell me about yourself. Everyone, my name, my name is Antoine the Great. I am the host of HFTG Archives. At the current moment, I am taking down those who are called the Red Pill. What I normally do is just point out stupidity while I educate you and entertain you. And usually, I'm pretty goddamn hilarious if I say so myself. We are a family-friendly channel. Just make sure the kitties are in bed before you watch. And Antoine, thank you for joining me on this one. I couldn't have done this one without you. L listen, you owe me one for this. Oh yeah. I'm going Yeah, I'm, I'm I know. Going to find, I'm going to find something. You're not going to like it. Oh, yeah, I, I know, I know, because I know what happened the last time I sent something your way. And you know, it was it still was a fun time. I may bring up Cringe Book Club again just for you. <laughs> Okay, but thank aside, you very much. Aside from that, thank you very much for inviting me on. I've been on two things in one week. I'm becoming nice. popular. This is weird. <laughs> That's good. Well, anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow, and I'm signing off here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go check out HFTG Archives and go subscribe there as well for Antoine and everyone else that's over on that channel.